my fellow Jamaicans, loader men, and Lego beasts. Due to the overwhelming success of my street dance, Bangarang Tuesdays, I have decided, after deep contemplation and prayer, to pack my bags and go, to step aside and focus all my energies on the dance hall. The timing of my announcement might have appeared to have been awkward. Let me explain the timing. The annual general conference is scheduled for November 19th and 20th. Halloween, however, is on October 31st. As all the potential candidates are scary and spooky, especially the older ones, a decision has to be made by this time. There are other considerations that led to my decision. Firstly, there are health concerns, as I have been having a chronic problem with coke. Secondly, it is time for my generation to make way for younger people whose time has come, who are more in sync with 21st century reality. The leaders of Gaza, Gully, the Alliance, the Reggae Boys, the Sunshine Girls, the Boy Scouts, the Girl Guides, and J-Flag are all more than 10 years younger than I am. It's a growing trend, and we should not resist it. In addition, members of the younger generation have memories that are more intact and are therefore more likely to recall important events at commissions of inquiry. To celebrate my departure, I will be keeping a session where I will be running a boat at a venue to be announced on the North Coast, as my experience with boats on the South Coast has not been good. Following this, I will be traveling, but not by jeep, to the parish of St. Thomas, where I will receive a well-needed bath to wash away all my saltness. However, before leaving office, I would like to leave behind as my legacy changes that will resonate with the people of this country forever. So in keeping with my mandate for transformation, I have decided to transform some of our national symbols to reflect the current situation in the nation. These changes will be as follows. The national bird will now be the John Crow, as this bird most accurately represents the behavior of our politicians. The meanings of the colors of the national flag have also been transformed. Black will now represent the color of the people before they start to bleach. Green will now represent the underarms of the people, as you all have to sweat and work extra long and hard just to make ends meet. And gold will now represent the wee-wee that you all pass in your underwear when you get your JPS bill. As a result of our dismal economy, the national dish will now be water crackers and tin mackerel, as this is all that Jamaicans can afford at this time. I have also taken the liberty of introducing a new national symbol, the national fish. And this will be Shabbat, I'm sorry, make that snapper. Which brings me finally to our new national motto, out of Manat, one preke. As always, I pray God's blessings on our nation and all its people. Good night and God bless you.